Hi, this is Tang from Code Mentor. Today we're going to talk about using React Refs to autofocus, a common mistake you might run into when using it, and two methods to go about solving it. You can find today's example in the description box below. This is our working demo. You first notice the initial loading message, and then afterwards we have the credit card inputs. And right now for the credit card number, that specific input, it's already focused in. And what we have going on, a neat little thing that I find very handy, is if you type in the full credit card number, it automatically jumps down to the next input, the expiry input. And same thing where when we're done typing that, it jumps down to the security code. So that's what we're working with. And we'll hop right into the buggy code example. So what we have here, right off the bat, you're gonna notice that there's an error. We'll come back to that later. But for now, let's take a run over what we have set up in this app. We have the app component, which handles the is loading state, which is passed as a prop to the credit card form. And then in the credit card form, which is what you saw all the three inputs you saw earlier. So for each of these input elements, a credit card number, expiry, security code, we have the state, um, on change event, handler, use effect, and the ref all set up. So a recap on what a ref is. It's used to access the actual DOM nodes in the browser. And to set it up, since we're using React hooks, we use the hook, use ref. And then we would assign that variable to, well, the input we want, not the input, the element we want, as a prop prop.ref and we input it here. So there you go. It's like attaching a label onto it. I want access to this water bottle and this is how you do it. Let's go into the first way of solving this error. To be able to solve it first, we have to figure out why it happens. So it's saying cannot read property focus of null. Okay, let's see. So focus, the focus method is here cc number ref dot current this apparently is null why is this happening because clearly we had the um, credit card input number there so to be able to understand this we'll have to take a step back and recall the rendering sequence that happened with our demo like this first on first render we had the loading state for two seconds and then the credit card input started rendering. So it's like a flowing timeline. Okay, next, what we have to notice here is when is use effect being called? So generally speaking, use effect is called after every render. But you might be thinking, well, that's very inefficient. Of course, React has put in a way of, telling, of determining when to run the use effect. Maybe you only want to run it once upon the first paint then that's what the empty array is for. When you put in an empty array as the second parameter, that's telling us we only want to run this use effect on the very first render. Or maybe you realize I don't want, I want it to render more times, but it's dependent on another variable. Maybe if this variable A changes, then I want use effect to run. So in this case, how we're gonna go about it first is we want, to con we want to input a conditional statement that will only run the focus method. We'll only call the focus method when it has the cc number ref.current. How we can go about that is, is if cc ref.current is true, then we will call the focus method. Okay, so next thing, this empty parameter. Remember, it dictates when use effect will be called. So empty means we only call it on the first render. We don't want that. We're waiting on when props.isloading changes. Whenever it changes, we wanna run use effect. So in this case, what we do, we put in props.isloading here. Sum things up, first, use effect will run every time props.isloading changes. Second, the focus method would only run when cc number ref.current holds true. Now, we can see that the demo is working. So that's it for solution one.
we're going to be using HTML's autofocus attribute. So here, I'm just going to comment out the refs. We don't need that. So if you notice, after we've commented that out, whenever the app loads, it actually doesn't do, it doesn't autofocus into credit card input. All right, so it's working. Now to add the autofocus, we're gonna find the input element that we want, so right here. And we're gonna type in autofocus as a prop. Notice how it is lower camel case. So the F is capitalized. Because we're using an HTML attribute in React, we need to be using it in lower camel case for it to work. All right, so let's reload this and see what happens. Ta-da, it auto focuses in. So this is a more convenient alternative to go about. And basically what autofocus, this autofocus attribute does for us is it's saying when this input element renders, we want you to autofocus in. While this is a convenient alternative, it might not be suitable for all cases. Also, take note, um, if you were to have multiple inputs and all of them were to have the autofocus attribute, it would only autofocus in on the very last input. So we have two key takeaways from this video. Number one, it's super important to understand the rendering sequence of your component. Number two, HTML's autofocus attribute is a convenient alternative to refs, depending on your scenario. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Comment below letting us know if there's anything else you'd like to see in our next videos. <laughs>